Hey there everybody, Arlo's here from Ice Games, bringing you a channel update for 2022. Oh my goodness, it's 2022 already. <laughs> That's kind of, still got to sink in a little bit here. But uh, yeah, in the background here, I've got some uh, trailers or some B-roll going. Uh, something for you guys to look at while you listen to my sweet, sweet voice. <laughs> Oh my gosh, but uh, yeah, really, really excited. I'm also going to be doing this a little bit um, kind of off the cuff. Don't have a script, just some uh, points that I want to reach to, so hopefully I don't ramble on for too long. Uh, on that note, let's get into it, and I just want to start off by thanking everybody out, out there. It's been an amazing uh, few years. The five-year anniversary of my channel's first video is coming up. I'm really, really excited for that. That'll be actually this Saturday, and I got some stuff planned, but it's been... It's been amazing. Like, I started this channel to play some video games that I've loved but never really finished. And uh, you guys have really seemed to like it. So it's been simply amazing. The last five years have just been uh, a, a real a real roller coaster of emotion for me like it's i i was amazed when there was 10 people that subscribed to let alone 6,000 people now that it's just it just blows my mind so i just want to thank everybody out there from really from the bottom of my heart and, and vanessa's too because she's been helping me a lot lately it's just been amazing so thank you everyone out there it's been so much fun to see the channel grow to see the discord grow it's been it's been simply amazing and i really want to keep up the content and, and keep it going uh, on that note, I do also want to kind of apologize for the last year uh, being a little uh, inconsistent uh, with the videos and the streaming and stuff like that. Uh, this year has been a little little crazy. Uh, we're working from home and all that fun stuff. Getting out how that's going to work. I'm really busy uh, with work. Uh, thankfully, I think I'm all caught up. We're all caught up and everything's going good now. Uh, so I will be able to slow down. I've actually got a bunch of time off work uh, to focus on making videos and get things going. So I'm really, really excited for that. So thank you guys so much for keeping up with me uh, these last few years. It's been a blessing. Even if this is their first video, thank you so much for, for joining me. It's been so much fun. And don't forget to join the Discord. Link will be in the description. Lots of amazing people down there for any game you play. Everyone, there's any questions you have, there's always someone that can answer them. But uh, yeah, the last five years have been simply amazing, and I'm excited for a whole lot more. And to celebrate five years, this Saturday is actually the fifth anniversary of the first Star Wars video I put up on the channel, which was the first video in total. So I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of streaming on Saturday. Uh, so this Saturday, or well, this Saturday and next Saturday doing streaming to celebrate. But this Saturday, because it was the Star Wars video I put up first, I'm going to be playing some Star Wars Republic. Starting at about noon Pacific Standard Time till about... Four or five. My plan is to go till five. Depends on if I get too hungry in the meantime. But the plan is to stream from noon Pacific Standard Time on Saturday the 15th until um, five and then uh, take a break and then in the evening I'll play a little bit more with Vanessa, uh, some other game. But Star Wars I'm going to be playing. Not sure what yet. Maybe we can do some operations if there's enough of us that can do operations or maybe just hang around in the open world and do some heroic missions or do a dance party in the fleet or on a guild ship. I don't know. Have some fun together, and that's the plan. Uh, I've even got a bunch of items in my uh, hangar that I want to be giving away to people that show up. So lots of fun stuff uh, going on. So starting on noon Saturday uh, till about 4 or 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I'm going to be playing some Star Wars Republic. And then at about 8 p.m. that same night, uh, me and Vanessa want to celebrate out uh, with you guys. And she might not play Star Wars, but we play, we'll play something with her. Maybe some... Some more Stardew Valley. Maybe we'll uh, get together and play some. Um, uh, maybe some. Uh, there's this unpacket game that sounds really fun. Uh, she also really wants to try Kill It With Fire, even though we're both terrified of spiders. Uh, so we'll, we'll do something kind of fun to kind of celebrate, kind of a relaxing uh, stream that maybe you guys can show up. Starting about 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which hopefully is uh, early enough for uh, everyone in North America to maybe. Be able to pop in a little bit, and then we'll go maybe for uh, two, three hours, so that people in uh, other parts of the world it might be early enough in the morning for them to pop in and say hi before they uh, go about their day in the morning. Uh, but that's the plan. And then the next Saturday, so the 22nd, uh, I'm going to be doing the same thing for Guild Wars 2. So again, starting about noon Pacific Standard Time, up until four or five playing a whole bunch of Guild Wars 2. And then maybe some celebration with Vanessa in the evening, also another stream of that. So really excited, starting on this Saturday, noon Pacific Standard Time, gonna be playing lots of Star Wars, should be a lot of fun. And then Guild Wars the following day, the same time, noon till about four or 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, a whole bunch of Guild Wars 
too. Hopefully you guys can show up for that, and it should be a lot of fun. Um, also, uh, I want to be want to go over my video and my my kind of pre-recorded video sc schedule and my streaming schedule uh, quickly. I'll have a link in or a, a link in well, not in the description. It will be in the description too uh, if I'm going too quickly or anything like that. Uh, I'm not going to change too much. I'm not adding anything new really to my like this is my solid schedule uh, for the next little while. But uh, starting on Tuesdays uh, in my pre-recorded videos I'll go over first they should be out around 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time uh, that's the plan uh, so on Tuesdays I'm gonna be playing with my Guild Wars 2 Necromancer I really gotta push hard on that uh, I might have some more videos than just one a week uh, to come up with her just because uh, I want to make sure I finish all of the Icebrood Saga content before the new expansion comes out uh, but we'll see uh, so Tuesdays will be my Guild Wars 2 Necromancer uh, Wednesdays, I'm bringing Hosrath back, my Star Wars Guild Republic Assassin. Uh, I've got a little bit to do before the next um, expansion for that game, for Star Wars, comes out. Uh, and in the meantime, before that expansion comes out, I can, you know, I got lots of um, companions I need to try to recruit still. I got little things I can do in the game, so lots of stuff. So Wednesdays, uh, again, about around 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, will be my Star Wars Republic. Thursdays will be my Guild Wars 2 Ranger. Uh, Friday will be my Star Wars Public Trooper, so it's kind of uh, consistently, so Guild Wars, Star Wars, Guild Wars, Star Wars, starting Tuesday. Uh, Saturday, I don't have anything planned, but that might be where I put my Guild Wars 2 Necromancer, like the second video of, uh, but we shall see. Uh, kind of not part of the main schedule, uh, because I think the game's going to end soon, but I also have been playing uh, Total War Warhammer 40,000, or not Total War, Warhammer 40,000 Battle Sector. Uh, I want to do two videos of that a week, and also I might be doing more games that aren't MMOs, and if I start doing more games that aren't MMOs, I'll probably do two videos of those a week. Um, so this will be Wednesdays, or I'm sorry, Mondays and Thursdays for uh, Warhammer 40,000 Battle Sector, because uh, number one, I'm really enjoying that game, and number two, like, I kind of want to get through those ones a little bit quicker, because uh, MMOs, they're always doing updates and stuff like that, so playing too much sometimes feels a little weird. Uh, but for kind of single player games, uh, I kind of want to play more of them. So if I do more videos a week, I feel like I can get through them quicker to play more video games. It's weird. It's weird. But that's my plan right now. Uh, and then I also want to get through it quick enough because a little bit quicker because Total War Warhammer 3 is coming out in February. And I want to start a uh, Slanesh campaign. Uh, I am a big fan of Warhammer, big fan of Warhammer 40,000. Getting into Age of Sigmar, I never played a game yet, but I do have an army, and it happens to be a Slanesh army. Uh, so I kind of want to play Total War Warhammer 3 as a Slanesh campaign, because I think that would be a lot of fun. And that will probably replace the Battle Sector on Mondays and Thursdays. I think that would be a lot of fun. Besides that, there are millions of games out there. And I want to know if there's any kind of like single player games that you guys would like me to see me play. So like maybe there's like a, a really cool first person shooter that you're either you're on the fence about or you you think I would really like it and be like, hey, you should play this game. Uh, I think Arlos would really like this game. Uh, let me know it, down in the comments of this. Let me know in the discord. Uh, I would love to get your guys's input. I might not play it right away or at all, but I would love to see what what videos you guys would like to see maybe it's like something like the resident evil games or the witcher series or something shorter or more indie like um uh, i mean even like stardew valley that i played that one time or whatever it could be there's a million different games out there i'd love to get your guys' uh, opinion on that even if it's another mmo uh there's a lot of really cool ones out there and uh, maybe that's something I could I could stream an MMO one time to see how I like it. And if it if I like it, maybe I can continue it on. Uh, but we'll, we'll see. So that's the plan for kind of pre-recorded videos. So uh, Tuesdays, Guild Wars uh, 2 uh, with my Necromancer. Wednesdays, my Star Wars Republic Assassin. Thursdays, my Guild Wars 2 Rangers. Star Wars, Friday, Star Wars Republic the Trooper. And then Battle Sector 40K, Mondays and Thursdays also. And then for streaming, uh, it's going to kind of keep to what I was doing before, starting at about... Uh, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and going for, for two or three hours. Uh, I'm kind of liking that two, three hour mark. It's, it's been a lot of fun getting through content pretty quick too, which is nice. Um, so it's going to be on starting on Tuesdays. Uh, I'm going to be streaming Guild Wars 2. Um, right now it's an engineer and I'll keep playing that engineer probably until I finish the main campaign. Uh, and then on Wednesdays, it's going to be Star Wars Republic. 
Uh, again, currently playing through as a bounty hunter, and I'll keep playing that bounty hunter if I finish their main story, and then I'll probably go to something new. Uh, on Thursdays, it's Final Fantasy XIV. I will be playing that game for the rest of my life, probably, <laughs> trying to catch up. But I'm having a lot of fun with that. Uh, that one, I definitely will be playing for three hours every day. Uh, I've been thinking about possibly doing a second stream sometime uh, with Final Fantasy. We'll see how that goes. Just, I'm enjoying that game so much, and there is just so much content to it. New expansion just came out, and I am nowhere near even that. I'm not even really done. When you think about it, I'm not really even done the first, the first expansion. Uh, but yeah, that's the plan for that. So Final Fantasy, again, starting at about 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That one for sure will be going until uh, 4 p.m. Excited for that. And then Friday, I want to keep doing... Um, uh, the Epic Game Store has their free games because it's giving me, again, that's letting me play a lot of different games. Some games I never would have even thought about trying because, again, every week I still uh, put those games in my library. Do I play them ever? Most likely not, but hey, I can read through some of them and let you know if they're actually worth a try. So that's my plan for that. And if it's a game that either I'm completely uninterested in or it's a game I already know a lot about, I might skip it and try something else. I do have, like, few hundred games on Steam, then I probably only played half of them, uh, so I might bring up some of those ones. I think that'd be kind of fun. So that'll be, again, starting at about uh, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, going for a few hours on Fridays. And then Saturdays, that's when my time changes, because Saturdays, it's going to be Saturday nights at about 8 p.m. Um, Pacific Time with Vanessa. We're going to stream uh, whatever game we're playing. So currently we're going through the expansions of Control, and then when Control's done, I'm not sure what game it's going to be. Uh, I'm trying to convince her to play um, Alan Wake with me, but uh, that game might be a little bit too scary. But if you guys have any suggestions for games you think would be kind of fun for us to play, again, let me know in the comments of this video. Let me know in the Discord. Uh, again, I'm really, really excited for that. So that'll be about 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for a few hours. Uh, excited for that. And then also, it's not going to be this Saturday or, or this week or next week. It'll be the week after. Uh, I'm going to start doing um, Saturdays where I play with you guys. So Saturdays, um, at starting at about 1, or sorry, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, I'm going to be playing some Star Wars Republic with you guys for a few hours. So Star Wars from about 1 to about, uh, sorry, 11 a.m. to about 1 uh, p.m. And then um, uh, about 2 p.m. to about uh, 4 p.m. I'm going to play some Final Fantasy 14. Just the, not streaming, not recording, just running around and, and having some fun and, and just hanging out with you guys. Uh, so that'll be kind of fun. And then also continuing on on Sundays, that'll be 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for uh, Guild Wars 2. I'm going to keep doing that. It's been always been a lot of fun uh, playing with you guys in Guild Wars 2. I think uh, last Sunday we just I just hopped on and we... Um, helped me get some of my roller beetle stuff done and then we're helping uh, I think Kebs was trying to get some achievements done so yeah anything you need to get done let us know and we can maybe help you with that too on, on Saturdays or or Sundays for that but uh, yeah I'm really really excited for those so that's kind of solidly in the books that's what we got going on video schedule streaming schedule um, battle sector and Total War 3 coming out for sure and uh, besides that uh, I know I've mentioned it a few times, I even did, did a couple polls for it, but starting, I'm hoping the near near the end of February or early March, I'm going to start doing lore videos for the three main MMOs I do. So I play Final Fantasy XIV, Star Wars Republic, and Guild Wars 2. So I'm going to do lore videos for those. My plan is to, for the first little while, do like one video, one lore video a week, uh, just to kind of ease myself into it. Uh, and then after I kind of get the ball rolling, Again, one for one of those games. Uh, I mean, uh, then kind of after I get the ball rolling, kind of figure out how things are going, get my editing process down. Uh, I plan on doing one a week for each game. Uh, I know it's going to be a lot of work, a little ambitious, especially for me. Uh, but I think I can pull it off if I can kind of get the the not the template, but kind of the how I want to do them done. And I think I think that would be a lot of fun. Uh, and I'm not just doing this because, oh, uh, I, I think lore videos would be fun. I'm doing it because I really, like, I love the background lore of these games. Like, and by lore, I, I really mean, like, lore that the game doesn't tell you per se, that you kind of have to dig into a little bit. Uh, that's what I'm kind of excited for. So I did some community questions uh, for Final Fantasy XIV and Star Wars Republic. Looks like you guys want to see some dungeon lore for Final Fantasy XIV which I'm really excited about. So I'm for each of my videos, I'm going to try to keep them to about half an hour, maybe shorter, maybe longer, depending on the dungeon it is. 
but I kind of want to go over like, oh, like this is this is the the story of this specific dungeon. So like, um, you know, how did it like the kind of like story leading up to the dungeon, the dungeon itself, and what happens inside of it, and then a little bit of the exit story. Like what what's going on here? Why why are there pirates in this cave? Uh, kind of a thing, and oh, who, who is this creature thing that jumps out at the end of the, the, the Cobalt Mines cave? Like that—that'll be the first one I do. Like, like, what is this creature that comes in? And then a lot of these, a lot of these um, dungeons have hard modes. So depending on how that story goes, and I was going to ask um, a Final Fantasy IV team uh, players' opinions on this later. Um, should I do the regular mode and hard mode together? Should, are they two separately? Does it depend on the raid? Uh, let me know. Uh, especially in the Discord, I was going to be asking that. Uh, that's Final Fantasy XIV. Really, really excited for that. It's so much fun. So much work. Uh, so much extra recording to do. So much fun. And then for Star Wars Republic, I'm going to be doing faction lore to begin with. Um, so it's going to be the different... Because each... You get these reputation for these factions by getting these items to use. But, like, do you know anything about them? I don't. I don't know anything about most of them. So I want to learn their stories and their histories and stuff like that. I think it would be a lot of fun. Again... I'm going to start with some dungeon lore, start with some faction lore for Star Wars Republic. It's not going to stay that. I eventually want to start doing, like, uh, planet lore and, and enemy lore and race lore. So it's not just going to be one thing. Uh, I'm starting with that because that's what seems like you guys were interested in. And then I'll start doing some other stuff, too. I didn't ask for Guild Wars 2, uh, but I think for Guild Wars 2, uh, I think I'm going to do dungeon lore also. Just because the dungeons are so unique. Because you do... You do the main story for the dungeon, and then after you're done the dungeon, there's like three or four different paths you can go in after. And it's not like it's not like um, you're doing the dungeon over again. It's no, you go in after the dungeon's been completed, and you're talking with people that are talking like the dungeon's already over. So I'm kind of excited to do that. So there's so much to that, and I I've, I've barely done that before, so I'm excited for that. And then again, might go on to doing like um, uh, race lore, like quaggins and. And uh, a reminder race lore like Quaggins and and the crate because they're really cool to me and and maybe do a little bit about maybe do some episodes about the world bosses because I'm like why am I fighting this giant golem in the middle of the the mail, Mount Maelstorm like why is this happening and stuff like that but that's that's my plan for the next little while is to do some dungeon lore so again that should be out uh, I'm hoping late February early March to start those it'll be one a week. Um, just in total, one lore video a week, and, and then slowly as I get better at it, uh, my plan is to do uh, one lore video for each game a week. And then if I really start liking it, uh, maybe I'll start doing lore videos for other games, because that would be kind of fun too. But uh, yeah, that's, that's my plan for the next little while. I'm really excited about it. Hopefully everyone out there is really excited about it. Hopefully I didn't ramble too much in this video. I'm sure I probably did. But I'm really, really excited. So thank you guys so much. It's been an amazing five years. Here's to the next five, hopefully. And as long as uh, I can keep this going, as long as you guys keep wanting to watch, I'll keep doing it. Even then a little bit after because I'm still having fun. <laughs> I'm having a blast. Uh, so hopefully I can see you in the Discord. Uh, I plan on being a lot more active in the Discord. Uh, I do have a Twitter set up for the channel. I haven't really done much with it, but I'm going to be doing more updates on that too. Uh, there's an Instagram for the channel too. I haven't really done anything with that, but my plan is to um, start using that more. Uh, maybe do little like short short videos on there. I think that could be a lot of fun. I got to figure out how to do it with my PC and stuff. I got I got to learn about these newfangled technologies and stuff, <laughs> these social media things. But yeah, I definitely want to start using Twitter a little bit more for updates. Um, so I'll be start posting on there. And uh, yeah, so follow me. I, I'll put the link for both of those uh, down below. So thank you everyone out there for watching this video. Thank you for all the support over the last uh, five years. It's been amazing. Hopefully I can see as many uh, of you out there on Saturday um, as, as we can to celebrate the channel, uh, especially Saturday night. Uh, I know Vanessa would love to see everyone out there as many as we can. That'd be so much fun. So thank you guys so much for everything. And as always, until next time, keep your stick on the ice.